Recent graduates on a medical engineering team from the University of South Florida came up big in a national competition for their device, drawing inspiration during the COVID-19 crisis. ABC Action News reporter Mary O'Connell explains how their device allows multiple patients to be treated from a single ventilator. Three recent grads from USF putting in a full year of hard work led to one big moment. Former USF students in the medical engineering program, Carolina Yamamoto Alves Pinto, Abby Blocker, and Jacob Urinsky all banded together for their senior capstone project. They presented to us the problem, uh, which was the lack of ventilators in many uh, hospitals around the country, but also like around the world. The team came up with a device that allows multiple patients to be treated with a single ventilator, addressing some safety concerns with a lower cost solution. Here's how it works. Unlike existing solutions that try to share the same breath between two patients, this device allows for the ventilator to alternate the breaths being delivered, giving the patients individualized ventilation based on their lung compliance and their needs. Hard work paid off. The team won a national NIH competition, earning a $20,000 award. Blocker explains the pandemic sparked an interest in designing something that would help in areas like patient overflow in ICUs. We were definitely focused on COVID, but um, really like the device is not limited to just that. Um, you know, it can help with, you know, shortages in like rural areas and things like that or during disasters like Katrina or in like military settings. Though the students have since graduated, another group of students is going to keep working on the device. A hope that one day its true impact could become a reality. I really think, you know, being recognized by the NIH and the NIBIB, you know, it kind of pushes us in the back just a little bit more to say that seeing it in a hospital is actually possible. In Tampa, Mary O'Connell, ABC Action News.